Let's do a makeover. <gasps> no. There's one clear fix for pretty much anything, from getting the guy to getting the job or even becoming rich. And that's a makeover. Makeup? Check. Contacts? Check. A new hairdo? Also check. There are some tricks to a classic glow up, but not all of them have the same results or motivation. The journey from ugly duckling to swan isn't as easy as it's cracked up to be, and it almost never works out how you think. From clueless to mean girls, and even the Hunger Games, here's how the classic trope plays out in some of our favorite films, and how it teaches us to look beneath the surface. You must have noticed that the ugly ducklings from some of our favorite films are never really ugly at all. Well, other than raggedy hair, oversized glasses, and questionable fashion sense, yet they're often bullied at school, have never been kissed, and would much rather stay home than go to prom. So what gives? Take Mia from The Princess Diaries. Some bad styling goes a long way to make Anne Hathaway look as plain as possible. Once she transforms into Princess Mia, we can see that straight hair, makeup, and contacts are all she really needs to look the part of a princess. These makeovers seem to teach us that a woman's biggest enemy is… frizzy hair? The same thing happens to Ty in Clueless. Already gorgeous, she trades her outsider fashion and I just woke up like this hair for a look that's put together and approved of by her popular friends. Disguises are another way for a shy character to completely transform. Take Sam from A Cinderella Story. She only had to do her hair, put on a nice dress, and throw on a mask to become a brand new person, even though that tiny mask isn't fooling any of us. These movies usually start out by telling us that anything that hides or transforms the true identity of the protagonist is a good thing. That's why these movies are known for the classic makeover montage. These ducklings aren't usually alone in figuring out their glow-up, and half the time, the glow-up isn't even their idea. Just think of the plastics in Mean Girls, Cher and Dion in Clueless, the entire beauty squad from The Princess Diaries, and the makeover queen who started it all, Cinderella's fairy godmother. These teams of seemingly helpful friends have something in common. They all have some sort of control over the main character, in the sense that they think they know what's best for her. They think that transforming her will make her fit in and change her life for the better. Cher is one of the best examples of the modern fairy godmother. Control is the only thing she has in a chaotic world, and she thinks that Ty having that same control over her appearance will make her life infinitely better. By changing her, Cher thinks she's doing her a huge favor. She even views it as a good deed. The problem is that these fairy godmothers change these girls in their own image. They even see them as less fortunate. These characters are fulfilling a wish, but it's always important to be careful what you wish for. The purpose of these makeovers aren't really about self-improvement, are they? Instead, they usually focus on how other characters view the protagonist. One of the best examples of this comes from an unlikely source, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Hermione's Yule Ball makeover represents her transformation into a woman, but it's based on how others see her, including us. Hermione's wild hair and no-nonsense scholarly attitude might not have made her a magnet for the boys at Hogwarts, but once she puts on some makeup, does her hair, and dons that pink chiffon dress, it's clear that Harry and Ron see her differently. We even see her entrance from their perspective, and we don't get to see her getting ready for the ball. Her transformation is a sudden metamorphosis. This image of the once plain girl arriving at the ball and being seen differently happens to Sam in a Cinderella story and in 10 Things I Hate About You. Notice how Patrick's eyes light up when he sees Kat dressed up at prom? A movie makeover might give a girl some newfound confidence, but the purpose is usually to be seen completely differently in someone else's eyes. In Hermione's case, Harry and Ron definitely realized that their friend was also a woman, and having Victor Crumb on her arm definitely helped make it more obvious. Speaking of crumb, romance is one of the most common motivations behind our ugly ducklings wanting to become swans. Just think of Sandy changing for Danny in Greece, or Lainey from She's All That becoming invested in her makeover. That was Zack's idea, not hers, after she starts to fall for him. Just take a moment and think of how many movie makeovers go hand in hand with a love story. It's a lot, isn't it? But these romantic motivations aren't always the same. Sometimes our protagonist changes to show an ex what they're missing out on. Think Kel Weaver from Crazy Stupid Love. These makeovers can also be based on personality, like when Cameron tries to become more of a rebel to impress Bianca in 10 Things I Hate About You. They might even have to do with romantic revenge, like in John Tucker Must Die, when Beth, Carrie, and Heather find out they're being played by John, Kate, 
who's definitely not in love with him, agrees to become the recipient of a makeover to try and outplay the playboy. Some transformations have nothing to do with romance, but have a lot to do with pleasing society. Just think of The Devil Wears Prada, which raises questions like, can you even be a successful woman without being pretty? How does the way you look, and how society thinks you should look, affect your chances at a great job or a fulfilling career? Sometimes, changing into what you think society expects of you isn't always a good thing. Olive might not care too much about her reputation in Easy A, but she learns quickly that what people believe about you can basically ruin your life. These transformations are perpetuated by women, but they focus on a standard that is beautiful to men. Yep, it's the dreaded male gaze. In Pretty Woman, Edward wants Vivian to fit into his life and social status, and her transformation is to please him more than to make her happy. While The Hunger Games demonstrates that being tough or strong or smart isn't enough, Katniss must also look the part of a winner and a beautiful woman in order to be respected. Even superheroes like Captain America aren't immune from having to look good to be successful. Though in Steve Rogers' case, that means going from scrawny to strong and imposing. While some of these heroines might give in to how society wants them to look, some characters yearn to transform to escape their place in society. Cinderella might be the poster child for glow-ups, but she didn't do it all for the attention of a handsome guy. She wanted much more than a prince, like her freedom, a purpose, and an escape from her wicked stepfamily. In The Duff, this escape is from a label. Being the designated ugly fat friend isn't a title Bianca wants. By becoming beautiful, she can shed that title and escape the way people see her. In Pretty Woman and The Princess Diaries, transforming also means reaching for a new social standing, with more money, power, and prestige. It's as though beauty rather than brains is the force behind creating a better life. Whether it's Bianca realizing that she didn't have to change herself in The Duff, or Katie realizing that life as a mean girl isn't all it's cracked up to be, the swan eventually realizes that she was never really ugly and that changing herself physically won't fix the issues she has on the inside. Some, like Ty and Katie, even have to shed the negative personalities they've developed by becoming beautiful. Others realize that they can combine who they are with their newfound confidence. Gracie from Miss Congeniality realizes that being pretty and being tough don't have to exist separately. And though Allie from A Star Is Born still wants to be a pop star after everything that happened with Jackson, she also realizes the grave reality of being famous. So what's the message here? That beauty and talent won't necessarily bring you happiness, especially if you have to give up huge chunks of yourself to be the person people expect you to be. Transformation films aren't always so predictable. Sometimes they subvert expectations, like Fiona in Shrek, who chooses being a happy ogre over a pretty princess. We also see this happen in Booksmart, when the protagonists make fun of the makeover montage by not really changing at all. In She's the Man and Mulan, our heroines have to become men to be respected. And in Legally Blonde, Elle Woods proves that beauty and brains can coexist. Transformation stories may start out focusing on how a girl should look, but they end up teaching us that beauty is more than skin deep. They remind us that the impressive person we all want to be is inside us somewhere, and we just have to learn to trust that inner us and let her flourish. It's all up to us, and that self-reflection and realization is the true power of a good glow up. Which movies have the best glow ups? And which movie tropes do you think we should explore next? Let us know in the comments. Plus, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the things for more. Thanks for watching.